Hello, I'm Landon Schlungen, and today we're going to go through the polygon area calculator on Free Code Camp. And we go to this, and we can access the full project description and starter code on REPL.it. So that's what we're going to do. Just reload it if it's having a bit of trouble, and it should work. And here we go. Here's our assignment. We have to make a rectangle class and also a square class. And it needs these different functions inside of it. And the square class is a subclass of rectangle. So we're going to use some inheritance in Python for this project. And so, yeah, it's actually not too difficult. This one isn't. So let's just get started right away. Just go to shapecalculator.py. We have our rectangle class and we have our square class. First thing we need in each of these is a init function. So we'll go def init and it takes in self. And the rectangle will actually take in a width and a height as well. And then it'll just set the self.width and self.height to that width and height. All right, so that's the init function done. Oh, actually we need two more underscores here. There we go. So that's that init function done. We have to do kind of the same thing for square. So square needs an init function, except this one just takes in side, except instead of width and height here, we're just gonna do side because it sets the width and height to that one side. And then also to make square a subclass of rectangle, all we have to do is pass rectangle into this class like this. And there we go, now square is a subclass of rectangle. The next thing we wanna do is actually set up these uh, other functions that the rectangle class should have. So set width and set height, and they're pretty easy. They're just setter functions, just like one-liners. There are a few liners, but yeah, we just, Pass in width, and then we set the width. Pass in height, and we set the height. So pretty easy there. Next one is get area. That one's pretty easy as well. It's just width times height. So you can kind of guess what I'm going to do here. Return self dot width times self dot height. Pretty easy. Next one, get perimeter. So that's this uh, formula: two times width plus two times the height. Pretty easy. And then we have get diagonal, which is this formula. It's good that they give us the formulas. Get the diag right there. Next up, we have get picture, which actually isn't too bad at all. We just do this stuff right here, and I need the formatting right. Okay, this stuff has to be tabbed over. There we go. If self.width is greater than 50 or self.height is greater than 50, then return too big for picture. It says that right here. If width or height is larger than 50, it should return a string too big for picture. Otherwise, we take the string, which is our return string. What we're going to return is these stars times self.width, so it'll make stars of width of whatever the width is, and then plus a new line, and then we do that times how many, how much we have for the height, and then that should make a box like it, like it shows down here, and it should also have a new line at the end, which it will actually pass the test this times if there's a new line at the end, which is nice, so we don't have to worry about that. The next function we need is get amount inside which i was a little bit confused on at first but it's actually just one shape's area divided by another shape's area so we just do um, it takes in a shape so if we made another shape like another rectangle we would pass that into here and then we would just do um, the the self area divided by the shape that we passed in area and then it will get the amount of times that that shape can go inside the other shape. So yeah, not too bad. Uh, we need to do a couple more things on the square class, and then we're going to be done. Like, it's uh, pretty easy. Uh, also, we need a, like, two-string function. So like, what's going to happen if we print out this rectangle? In their example, they print out rect right here, and it prints out rectangle width of 10, height of 3. So we kind of want the same format. The way I did that was right here. We have this string function, which will run if we say print this object, then it will look for this function and then return what it says. And this is how we do string interpolation in Python. We do this F and then apostrophe and we put in our string and curly braces we can put in our regular Python. So rectangle with equals self.width and then height equals self.height same format that shows right here. We have to do the same thing for square because square just has side 
and we want one width and height in that one. So let's uh, let's actually try running this and see what we get. Okay, so we get square object has no attribute set side. So we also need that one. And it's pretty easy. It's just like the init function. We set each side to the width and height. Now let's try running it, see what we get. So yeah, we have rectangle with a four and height of four, but we actually want it to be side equals four. And we do that with another string function like this. So there we go. We have another string function where we format the square with the side of self.width, or it could be self.height, doesn't matter, just so that it's the same number. And we run that and we ran 15 tests and we passed them all. So, so it worked. Sweet, we're done. Like this is this is all this one was. It's uh, pretty easy actually. So yeah, what do we have next? I'll go back to free code camp. <laughs> next up we have the probability calculator, which is actually uh, pretty tough. I already completed it, but um, yeah. <laughs> it's uh, It took me a while to complete, so that one should be fun to do. Um, the tricky things with this polygon area calculator is probably just the inheritance factor. So, but you can just look that stuff up. Just look up inheritance in Python, and then you can just see that you'd pass in rectangle to the square class, and then it becomes a subclass. And the square class will inherit all of the methods of the rectangle class, unless that method is overwritten. So in this case, this init function is overwritten for the square class because it's found in the rectangle class and the square class. And same with the string function as well. I think we would be able to do square.setWidth as well, which probably isn't the best thing. So like we could do how it says square.setSide, we could do square.setWidth or height, and we could set it to five and it wouldn't change the other one. So that's a little weird. I guess. So yeah, well now it says square side of five, but if I did set height, then it should still say four. And I run that, yeah, then it's side equals four. So yeah, that's a little weird. Um, I don't really know how to fix that, but I mean, it still passed all the tests, so, so that's awesome. If you like this video, give the video a like, uh, subscribe down below. I read all the comments, so give uh, a comment and I'll be sure to read it. And uh, with that, I will see you later. See ya, bye.